What's going on guys? It's Mike back from Canadian Cards. I uh, wanted to pop on here and do a video. Uh, try and keep it short. Um, attended the Pittsburgh Mainline Show uh, on Saturday. A buddy of mine, Steve, from Brantford, Ontario. Telephone City, home to Wayne Gretzky. Picked me up at 4 a.m. and uh, we headed out and we were having breakfast by quarter to nine for about an hour. Had some coffee and head over to the show at 10. Had a great time. Uh, ran into, as you can see by the uh, photo, um, Dean Gearhart, who was, was gone uh, by the time we took that photo. Uh, Scott Reindeer Studios and Bob Lewis and um, just had a great time um, Scott is such a good person uh, I know him and, and Steve hit it off pretty good and Bob is probably one of the funniest guys I've ever met I've met him in person before but he just cracks me up um, the interaction with the uh, thumbnail photo was the best because I have to set the scene. So you walk into the card show, and at the very back, there's kind of a very short hallway connecting to another uh, convention. And in that convention, there was a coin show going on. I'm not sure the parameters of why they do it, but I think it was a contest to dress up as your favorite president. So... Uh, we hauled uh, Abe Lincoln over, and the exchange between the guy playing Abraham Lincoln and Bob Lewis was fantastic. Uh, Scott and I were belly laughing at one of them, and maybe you won't find it funny, but he called him, he said, Abe, and waved at him, and he just kind of looked at us. <laughs> then Bob's like, Abraham, get over here. So we ask him to take a selfie. He does the selfie, kind of asks where we're all from. And uh, he's like, listen, wherever you're from, on your way home, just make sure you get safe and get home. And Bob looked at him deadpan and said, Abraham, America is my home. And we just cracked. <laughs> the guy impersonating Abe Lincoln didn't know what to say. He just kind of looked at him and went, okay uh and he took off but we had a great day um it was a long day we didn't get back till about 9 30 at night but it was it was about a four four and a half hour drive and we probably spent about six or seven hours uh at the show just had a great time um lots of vintage lots of bargain bins picked up some cool stuff some of which you've seen on my video the other day i posted uh a video with my 49 bowmans Half were from um, the the Pittsburgh show, and a good ch the other half or a good chunk of them were from B Roth Six, and I do have some other ones in the mail that uh, he's hit me up with some uh, for a good price. So I'm going to turn the camera around, show you everything else I picked up, which isn't a lot, um, but um, yeah, I'm j I just wanted to show off these few items. Because I thought it was, um, I thought it was really good. So, anyway, sit tight. Okay, guys. So, uh, well, not a lot. There's a couple of larger items that I've got to kind of tuck in here, just for the sole purpose of getting some space. But um, the first thing I wanted to show off, there was a guy that was doing this kind of charity for kids type thing. I think it was. I don't even. It's pretty bad. I don't even know the charity was. You pay 50 bucks, pick an envelope, you get the corresponding autographed jersey. And he showed what was left. Like every time someone won it, he crossed it out. So there was um, Bob Greasy, a Dick Buckkiss, a Debo Samuel, uh, a Salute to Service Dallas Cowboys, Trevon Diggs, a few other guys. But I wanted them in the order of Butkus, Greasy, Debo, and then Diggs, and ended up winning the Diggs. So there's the jersey there. It's Beckett authenticated, and uh, you know, just a cool piece. And I mean, it's 
50 bucks and you know I'm a Dallas fan so that worked out well except it's a size large they might as well have just given me extra medium but anyways uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that I might sell it uh, because of the size and maybe pick up a something I like this was an incredibly cool piece and I'm going to pick up the camera this was just sitting on a table and it's from the National League series uh, it's a scorebook championship series Pittsburgh and the Reds which uh, Pittsburgh lost the Reds went on to play the Oakland Athletics and this just happens to be the last series that Roberto Clemente played in before his untimely demise in 1972 and um you know the old tv ads and it's you know i've i don't want to take it out and go through it but i just thought that was a perfect piece to get in pittsburgh um i don't collect a lot of clemente stuff but you know to get uh a program from the National League series, the final one for Mr. Clemente, I thought was very apropos. Ran into, like I said, Bob Lewis. He gifted me a few Montreal cards. Little uh, Pierre Turgeon. That's kind of funky. A... Jean Beliveau from Upper Deck. I'm not sure which year that's from. 2000. Come on, focus. You get the idea. And this cool card. Patrick Waugh. Team Foundations. Guy Lafleur. Patrick Waugh. Not Patrick Roy. It's Waugh. So he gifted me those. So thank you, Bob. Um, these uh, next ones were all... This guy just had a smattering of cards all over the table. And everything was half price. And they were in, you know, junky top loaders. And some of them I've changed. But um, I picked up this. John Henry Johnson. I know uh, uh, Rick... Vintage Oddball Cards. I think this guy played... I think he played with San Fran. Yeah, 49ers. It's kind of cool. He's got his hands on his head there. Um, and everything you're going to see here, I paid uh, 40 bucks for everything. So I got that. And then I will bore you with some hockey autos. Picked up a Thomas Vanek, Glacial Graphs, a Sign of the Times, Vincent Trocheck, Charlie Simmer, Sign of the Times, part of the Triple Crown line with Dion and Taylor, and then an Andrew Shaw Habs card, um, which I thought was very cool. And I'm missing one. Here it is. Jose Theodore. So this one... This one was a TTM. It was in there. I can't even remember. It was a couple of bucks, but got those. And then I this these were the first two cards that I seen when I walked in. I stopped at a bin who had guy who had other sports and non-sports. This is the 1929 Churchman cigarette card, and I got two of them. It is entitled, it's got a little stain on the back, but that's okay. Sport and Games in Many Land, Ice Hockey, Canada. So he had a price tag on these, I think of 15 each. So I got the pair for 15. So I'll probably send those away for grading. What else? 50 cents for the Don Mossy PC. Found this just to even out the dollar amount. Well, it came to 50 cents, but he signs TTM. Um, so that's his second year card. And then 
I got a bunch of cool stuff. Well, this is pissing me off. I don't know if you guys have seen these. Yeah, and this was 10 bucks, but I think I, I just wanted it for an auto. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but I can't get the damn card out. I don't, I, like, I'm going to have to, I don't know, pry it open with that rusty blade I got, but I've been trying. I can't get the damn card out. So, it is what it is. I'll figure it out eventually. Um, picked up this uh, Robin Roberts relic card. Not even sure what it's from. 2011 Tops from Series 1 Baseball. Uh, what else did I pick up? I picked up this Juan Marichal Clubhouse Collection, number 299. Picked up this Billy Williams, uh, what is it? Legendary Memorabilia. That is number 299 as well. Not even sure what year that's from. Uh, it'll unfocus. And then picked up two autographs. Juan Marichal, out of 25. I take it that's a Topps 5 star. I believe it is. I can't read it, but I didn't really care. Um, it was worth it. And then a Cooperstown of Billy Williams. So, yeah, all in all, I think 40 bucks for all that stuff, um, which I thought was a great deal. And then the last thing I picked up walking out, getting into these exhibits, Mickey Mantle. And then it's the variation says batting CK connected. I'm not even sure. Oh, the C and K and his script name is connected. I guess there's another variation where it isn't. So it's a one and a half, but that'll do. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. So thanks for sticking it out. A little bit lengthier video than I'm like to do and uh hope you're all doing well take care